All right, so this is one that's been brought, presented by Redstone, and Waffle said he'd also like to see what the uh, what my thoughts on this particular bibbit are. So this is, it's called Shark, uh, fairly simple. Uh, it is high strength, moderate defense. It is a vegetarian, which is not what I expected. Okay, uh, very simple. We have a Relu coming out of maturity and uh, constant, which goes to want to lay. Now, when these things combine, they're going to create a red. Hold on. Okay, this one has to overpower this one before it'll turn green, and then it will just be very much want to lay. And see here on the baby, it is turned off. Let's go back to the adult. The Dolt is dead. It uh, died to a prog whale. So we're going to take a look at the, watch the baby swim backwards for whatever reason. There's a Gaussian attached to the backwards swim with a 10H. And it's dead too. Let's try that again. We're just going to stick with adults, I guess. Whoops. I'm going to drop two of them on top of each other because that's what I do. Okay, so we have the Gaussian coming out of plant closeness. Uh, the 10H also goes into accelerate. Now, the only thing associated with uh, accelerate is ultimately this plant closeness, right? So it doesn't see plants, so it goes backwards, which is, I guess, an interesting strategy. If you're going to get chased by a predator, it's good to go backwards because then your mouth is facing towards the predator. Kind of reminds me of a squid. And plant close. Oh, there it goes. So it sees the plant and it decides to go forward instead. Uh, all right. Uh, it, it takes bites from everything every time. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem to compete well with herbivores. So I'm going to set a spawner on this because I don't really want to... keep spawning them in myself. Shark. Uh, this one spawned in with mutations that break everything. And it is being instantly eaten by, I guess it's called a Gigachatosaurus now because I, I got them to, I got the progs to be big, big enough to earn the name Gigachatosaurus. And we're gonna, we're actually just gonna watch this thing eat this guy. Oh, yeah. So these things, these things are food for progs, essentially. They're, they have some, they have an interesting feature. I like that it goes backwards and swims forward. It's not going to be great at finding food, but you know, it is what it is. It has a very narrow view. In, oh my god, these things die so fast. Every time I turn around, it's another dead one. Watch this one die. Uh, oh, oh, you might eat it. You might have a problem, Prog. Yeah, okay, so that is a good reason to swim backwards, right? The Progs ultimately are going to try to come in from the back. They have complicated enough pattern that, um, they've learned to sort of avoid the mouth, which is typically in the front. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a squid, right? Uh, squids use their jets to swim backwards. Um, squids, however, also have eyes that can see everywhere, whereas this thing has eyes that can see basically just a tiny little ray out front. I should probably just join the Patreon so I can, you know, actually see the view angle and play with the new features of this game. All right. Now, what about now? Is it going to get eaten? Ah, no, it's going to bite the crap out of that prog. The prog is going to be fine. It's going to go swim away. It might die of hunger before it heals, but yeah, it's its own problem. View radius 145, so it can see pretty far. Uh, I, do, I don't think this one's going to do very well. There's no plans for it to see. Let's go. I want I want to see. I want to watch it get eaten. Nope. All right, here we go. This one's. So this one, this one is a, a very good target for progs because progs are very good at eating things that are already attached to a food pellet. Let's see, what else is notable about this guy? Fairly fairly large, 2.35, that's almost maxed. 
a uh, very long lay time, basically, uh, basically live birth here. And with brood time being so low, it seems like it's going to just uh, lay a mature, or at least a nearly mature egg. 1339. So this one can barely... Um, I'm going to feed it. I'm going to feed it a bigger plant. Barely has enough uh, egg space or energy to lay an egg. And I'm watching the energy, and it's not going up very fast. So what's going on here? It's it's investing heavily into growth. So these things are seem like they're definitely feeders. Feeders with a neat function. I like that they're simple. You know, it's good to have a simple feeder. Um, let's take a look at the growth gene on this thing. Sort that out of the way because we've already looked at that. So growth is very simple. Um, if energy ratio is high, do grow. Otherwise, there's a constant negative of negative 38.03, which will absolutely just turn it off. Um, so at a 30%, we have a zero output for want to grow. And then it, so yeah, it's about 30%, 40%? Yeah, 40% before want to grow really kicks in. Which means these things aren't gonna be laying a lot of eggs, making making a lot of babies. They're just going to be getting bigger. They embiggenate themselves. Um, I hope this thing lays an egg. I don't think it's going to. This is a bit hostile of a, uh, environment for these guys to be laying eggs, I think. And it's a little hard to force feed something that swims backwards, too. I'm going to give it a meat. No, you stay off. Bad. This is the, the one time I'm going to say bad product. Do not eat the thing. Go away. Okay. Does very, very small bites. Mouth opening is pretty tiny. Uh, I don't think this thing is capable of storing food in its stomach. It just seems like the the food digests too fast, which is, you know, not bad. Uh, oh, it's going to get a bit. Nope. <laughs> Go away. I'm watching something. I need to find one that's older. This one's too young. All right. Uh, nope. This one's, oh, it's already got a thing attached to it. You let go. Go eat that. All right. Meat. Eat the meat. I need to get 1338 energy. And of course, you know, it's competing for, um, the egg is competing for growth. I, what, question is, how big does it have to get before, um, it's comfortable laying eggs? Let's see, so we are at 75% energy and we have an output of, let's say 5% on the want to grow. And it found the plant, which is going to digest, which is going to provide energy slower. So eat the meat. Oh, you, what? Oh, the backwards thing. These things, these things. All right, here, this is the bait, eat the meat. Eat the meat. Okay. Yes. This is this is silly. <laughs> I have to. I have. Nope. Stay away. Bad. Go away. We're doing something here. You need to go find your own food. Okay. I have to use the plant as bait to keep it from swimming backwards because this thing doesn't seem to have a grab function, right? So it's not going to grab the meat and try to swim away with it. It's just going to swim backwards. So it's, it's trying to get the plant, and it is instead eating the meat because I put the meat in between the two. Just because I want more energy here. I'm going to turn the speed up to four. My prog should be fine. They're champions. You go away. 
You're not welcome here. I wish I could like just force inject energy into this thing, but I can't. Go away. <laughs> All right. So that meat is pretty much dead. I'm going to put another meat in its place. Get your meat. All this just to check and see what the baby looks like when it comes out. Because I have a feeling that it's going to be mature. It's just not going to be anywhere close to egg laying. We're at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. This is absurd. All right, let's go super fast. Super, super fast. Uh, I'll tell you this right now. These things are not not going to survive in this soup. They do not... They don't lay eggs quick enough. It's just... They won't be able to replace their population as the progs eat them. And that's a, that's a hazardous thing when you're trying to create some, when you're trying to create a stable environment with both a prey and a predator. Can I just push the lay button? I can. What does it do? Okay, your energy stays full. I could have just done that the whole time. It just makes a little copy. Okay. So I was wrong. Size factor, it's, it's definitely not mature. Growth is maxed out. Holy crap. For just a little bit. And then it has a long period of trying to figure out how to lay eggs. Uh, yeah, these... So, you know, I could spawn these things in and they would suck up plants and turn that into meat for progs. Uh, but I would have to spawn them in. I, I like the little backwards feature, right? Um, it's not not super efficient for uh, actually finding food. You could probably get away with doing something like um, give it a 360 degree, 60 degree fit range so that it can see behind it, right? And then, you know, flip around and go full bore into the plant just to make it easier to find things. That's a whole different topic. All right, we're at 12 minutes. I'm turning this off.